Hey guys, Jessica here, the Friday Family Coach, and in this video, I'm starting a brand new playlist, a new series here on YouTube, all about moving with pets. Yes, you heard that right. We're moving. It's going to be a little while. I will say we're probably not going to be moving for about, we're planning to move, I should say. <laughs> so it's probably not going to be, but maybe five or six months before we actually move. But I am so thrilled that I have this time to prepare because in this video, we're going to be talking about the very first things you need to think about when you are planning to move and you have pets. Well, hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Jessica and I'm the furry family coach. I am a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement trainer. And I am so glad to have you in today's video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, look right down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select on notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post new videos, especially if you're interested in moving with pets because this playlist here is going to be all about the things you should be doing or thinking about possibly doing when you are moving or planning to move and you have pets. So if you hit that notification bell and tell YouTube you want to get all notifications, you'll just get a notification on the screen. Hey, Jessica has posted a video. You can click right on the notification and go directly to the video. You never have to search for them. Again, it's a really cool feature and I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, so the first thing I wanna tell you about when we're planning on a, a move with pets, what I'm gonna be doing is, um, if you look in the description of the video, there's gonna be a link to my Amazon storefront. And what I'm gonna do is create a new list on my Amazon storefront for essential items that you need when moving with your pets. Now, not 100% of the items that I'm gonna be using are gonna be available on Amazon, and that's why you need to certainly subscribe to these this video series, but um, the, anything that I can get on Amazon, I will put in this list, and anything that I can't get on Amazon, I will be talking about in all of the videos. So there are certainly different types of animals to move, and I am moving a dog and multiple cats. And we're going from California to Texas. Shocker, everybody's moving to Texas, right? Well, we found a beautiful little town called Georgetown, and we are so excited to be planning our move there. So while this video is not about our move and while, why we're planning on moving, it I, I did just wanna mention, the distance because the very first thing you want to do is figure out how you're going to move your pets when we moved um, i'm from virginia so when we moved from virginia to california what we decided to do was i hired a company it was actually just a man um but he had a company and liability insurance and you know you, you want to make sure all of your ducks are in a row when you hire somebody to do this so he had uh, an upfitted van and in the van were a bunch of different cages he had a whole like the whole, one whole wall and then the back section of the van was was just cages so he could transport animals and that's what his business was and I have no idea if he's still in business but I know he was in the Hampton Roads area and his name was Jeff and if I if I have any more information on him I will put it in the description because it may help somebody who happens to be in the Hampton Roads area in Virginia and moving. But so what we decided to do was have this man who I actually, one of the vet techs at my vet office was very, very, very good friends with him. So that's, you know, it kind of worked out that even though I didn't personally know him, I knew my vet tech who knew him and it was kind of like, you know, I felt like I could trust him. So he drove all of our animals, which at, we had more animals at the time. I have fewer animals now because we have unfortunately lost some of our animals um, to, you know, disease and old age. And I don't want to get into all of that because I don't want to start crying. But we had more animals then and he transported them in his van and drove all the way across the country. It took him about three and a half days, um, which, you know, of course, he stopped when he needed to and he stopped to sleep overnight and things like that. But um, he transported them across the country and I flew, my husband drove, he had to stay behind to pack the moving truck and get them on the road and then he drove his vehicle, I sold my car. It, anyway, not getting into all of that because that's not what we're doing this time. This time, we're both going to drive 
we're going to move ourselves. We just based on our circumstances and the animals, we decided it's going to be the best thing to do. We are still planning um, for the distance. It's about 1300 miles. So we're planning on breaking that up over three days and all of the animals are going to ride with me in my vehicle. My husband is going to drive the moving truck towing his vehicle. So the first thing you want to do is figure out how you're planning, what's going to be the best thing for you and your situation, how you're planning on moving with your pets and how your pets fit into your move. That's going to be the very first thing you need to figure out. Now, once you have that part figured out, you want to like kind of get down into the details of how that transport is going to work. And for me, I have you know, I have to measure the inside of my vehicle to figure out what's gonna fit, what's not gonna fit. And I've already started looking at options for different, different types of carriers and crates to transport my cats in. Something that's gonna give them some room to move around while also being safe and sturdy enough. And I'm gonna be able to actually pull them out of the car easily enough to get them out of the car every night and into a hotel room because we are planning on stopping every night along the way. That's another tip. So when we are mapping out our, our route to drive or route, depending on where you're from and how you say that word, um, when you're planning your route to drive, plan on stopping to sleep, especially if it's a long drive like ours is gonna be. We're gonna stop every night to sleep and in a hotel room. So find pet friendly hotels that's going to be key and make sure you have these booked in advance because you don't want to wind up in a situation where you need to stop and sleep and you don't have anywhere for your pets to go. Now, if you are going to be driving, I would highly recommend as soon as you start figuring, as soon as you start realizing that you are going to be moving or you're planning on moving, if your pet is not used to riding in the car, I would recommend starting to get them used to that. So if there is a special crate or some sort of uh, harness, seatbelt attachment, whatever it may be that you're getting for your trip, start getting your pet, whether it's a dog or a cat, used to that. And you know, a lot of cats especially are not acclimated to riding in a car and it's gonna be a long ride. So I would definitely recommend starting out slow by just getting your cat used to the carrier or the new crate, whatever it is that you're getting to actually transport them, let them get used to it uh, and be comfortable inside of it and, and take your time letting them get adjusted to it with the door open, then with the door closed, and then actually practice taking them in the crate or carrier and putting them in your car, then bringing them back in the house and letting them out. And then slowly start increasing the distance of time that they're in the crate or carrier. But even if this is a dog, um, you, you definitely want them to be safe while they are in the vehicle. So if you are getting them some sort of crate to uh, be in while you're driving, make sure you're getting them accustomed to it and do the same exact things as I'm saying with the cats. Uh, get them used to it with it with the door open, get them used to it with the door closed, start taking them out to the car with it and bringing them back in, then take them on a short trip around the block and then come back home and then take them on a longer trip and back home. So it's just start getting them used to this idea and this situation that, that they're gonna be in. So when it actually comes time to travel and really make that trip, it's gonna be easier on your pets. So I don't want this video to get too long, but there are a couple more things that you do wanna think about when you're planning a move with your pets. And this is something you can start thinking about immediately. And that is wherever you're going, you want to find a reliable pet sitter and a veterinarian. A really great way to do this is to join local groups. So for example, the neighborhood we're moving into has a group We've joined it, we've already started posting and getting to know our neighbors, even though it's months in advance. And we've already started figuring out different things about the neighborhood that are different from where we currently live. And it's really a good tool for you to use to start getting acclimated to your new environment as well. And you can ask about pet sitting, you can ask about veterinarians that people trust and recommend. I also love the AHVMA website, and I will link it in the description below. AHVMA stands for American Holistic 
Veterinary Medical Association. You can actually go there and type in a zip code and find holistic and integrative veterinarians in the area. So what I have done is I've pulled a list of holistic and integrative veterinarians in my area where we're going to be moving to and I'm posting to see if anybody has experience with them because I want to know that they are going to offer the kind of care I'm looking for, but I also want to know that they have good bedside manner, that they have good relationships with their clients, and I because that's that's what I have now, and that's what I want to continue to have when we move. So these are all things you can start thinking about right now as soon as you realize, hey, guess what? I'm going to be moving without getting into too much detail. These are things you can start doing right away. Again, this is going to be a series because it's going to take time to plan and get everybody moved. I do hope you follow along. If you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments below. I can't wait to provide you more updates and useful information on moving with your pets. So so make sure you give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and click that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When it's gray, look right next to it. There's going to be a bell. Click the bell, select on notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.